What is up nerds, Cloud here with another Honkai Star Rail video, and in today's video, I get to tell you what I think about the current banner that's coming up with the Jing Yun. So, jumping right into it without this transition that I'm not good with, the event warp Swirl of Heavenly Spear begins now, which technically begins in 22 hours from when I'm recording this video. So, the 17th of May of 2023 at 4pm PST is my ballpark answer with doing quick maths. But the banner is coming out and everyone's excited so for those that don't want to stick around because this video has been made by tons of content creators way more qualified than me uh, my answers to you are yes you should summon sila wow yes you should summon jing yin if you did not summon for sila and you're a mad lad no you shouldn't summon because you have sila and you are in a free-to-play mindset and he's a damage dealer and they're dimes a dozen yes you should summon if you have seal up and you have the resources and you don't want to use serval from the free-to-play perspective because again no matter what i tell you serval will never be as strong as jing yun so if you're going from a free-to-play mindset and you have sila it's the same thing i would say if you had uh sushung where there are different elements but they they do the same thing and that's a very broad way to describe them. So, going into it in a little bit more detail, every time I load this, like I scroll, it lags. So, I apologize if we start going underwater. But the event duration for Jing Yun will be from May 17th all the way until June 6th. Uh, you can see the boosted rate up four star characters are gonna be Ting Yun, incredible. Su Sheng, incredible. March 7th, good. The reason why I say good is because everyone has access to March 7th, so I will... Getting Etiolans are awesome. They make the character stronger. They are great. They are not a necessity. There is not content that exists in the game that requires a character to have a certain Etiolan level. The one thing I love about this game, I'm going on kind of a side quest rant here. The one thing I always enjoy about MiHoYo games specifically are games that don't cater to a PvP mindset. Some people think some groups of people think that no pvp and no reason you don't give me a reason to spend but games like this prove that wrong every time this banner is going to be around for almost a month people are going to summon on it everyone wants the character and you're going to continue to use the character uh, for years that's an exaggeration but use it for a long time so i just always kind of enjoyed that when i play genshin and i use i grab Deluc on my reroll summon I still use Deluc to this day. You know what I mean? Anyway, rant over. Side quest has been finished. So, the above characters, the limited character, will not become available in the Stellar Warp event. I'll show what that is uh, later, but that's basically the the guaranteed after 300 summons, you get a character. Your Jing Yun will not join that group. It's a, it's a very, very reminiscent of the Genshin Impact mindset of... The Stella Warp will change. It might change. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Oh, because they have a 300 guaranteed summon. So it's hard to say. So if you want Jing Yun, you have almost a month to decide. Again, a little bit of a side quest. You do not need to summon a character the day of. It, the gacha games do it to us, right? Everyone wants to summon the character. The, the reset happens. All the content creators are making content. Blah, 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 blah. Live vicariously through your favorite content creator. Let them summon. Let them level the character up. And then tell yourself, wow. By looking at this individual's character, I, I, this looks so much fun. That character is so badass. I want to do that cool stuff. Let me summon it. You know what I mean? Like, I truly believe that the banner is worth summoning on, even if you have Sila, right? Even if you have her. So Jing Yun is part of the Uridition. I want to call it Iridation every single time. But we're looking at getting the Immortal Cyanets, the Shape Shifting Lightning Staffs, the Key of Inspiration, and the Destroyer Final Road. Again, the banner comes out pretty soon, but you could just look at your Serval and see what things she would want Jing Young's gonna take. He, I don't recommend summoning for any Etiolans. There's nothing grand about getting extra copies of them. Obviously, the more that you get, the stronger your character becomes, but it's nothing game altering, though they do assist him in becoming a better AoE damage dealer. Uh, I do enjoy his traces. Uh, he gets 15 energy immediately on his Ascension 4. And after using a skill on Ascension 6, he gets access to crit rate for 10% for two turns. So 10% crit rate is awesome. Uh, because as we progress through the game and everyone's trailblaze level gets up more and more and more, 
everyone's gonna start running crit and then crit damage. And right now, we're all kind of focused on just getting that attack percentage up, then slowly working into the elemental damage. But eventually, we'll have access to doing more for crit and crit damage. Uh, he is an AoE fiend. Uh, he will do single target enemies with his regular attack. His AoE skills um, increase his Lightning Lord's action. The Lightning Lord, basically when you summon Jing Yun, you get access to another character is, the, is kind of a very robust way of saying it. But when he uses his uh, talent, uh, he summons Lightning Lord at the start of the battle. And then he has 60 base speed and then every uh, three base speed hits per action. So every time that Jing Young attacks, your Lightning Lord gets faster. He acts as like almost like a path. And a thing that comes with Jing, which a lot of people already know, if you check out my video of those characters that I would summon for, Jing Young was a part of that. With his talent, he brings in basically like another character. So. It's almost like going through simulated universe and you get the path of the abundance and then you go for the blessing that has the abundance randomly in a certain amount of turns. Heal your party without having to activate her. It's almost the same thing. Jing Yun's actions directly affect the speed and damage that the Light Lord, Lightning Lord can do. So you kind of... It's one of those, you know, perfect world. You want to, you don't necessarily need to build speed because you want it to be as strong as possible. And this game isn't really, as of the current state, speed isn't the greatest attribute. Uh, but the Lightning Lord acts as a single target character that also does the uh, adjacent uh, damage. If Jing Young is debuffed or he's crowd controlled to a, where he cannot act, then the Lightning Lord will not perform his action. So. I rewatched my video back and I am cringy AF. Mark 7th is a great consolation prize because it adds more damage resistance to your team. Su Sun is an incredible consolation prize because she is a single target damage dealer that can do AoE that is surprisingly powerful, which isn't that surprising because she's fucking hot. Thirdly, uh, Ting Young is an incredible support unit. If you don't have Branya, then you gotta get this cat girl, cause she, I mean, fox girl. Damn it. Hey ya! Um, if anyone out there is wondering if I'm going to summon, the answer is yes. I was oh my lucky God. to summon Banner, and I got her in 20 pulls, I believe. That's not a flex. I have a bunch of resources, and I've been, actually, I put money aside for this game because I want to make content for it a bit more. But I didn't want to summon on Seedless Banner or the Light Cone or here, which I could have, but I really want Clara, right? I want Baby Girl so bad because oh, when I say Baby Girl, it's Felrog, okay? Uh, so hopefully I get some, I would love to get an off banner on the Jing Young to be able to get access to Clara. But yeah, that's all I, that's all I have for you guys. Um, hopefully my mannerisms weren't too bad remember you are valued you are appreciated and before i leave i have the greatest joke ever told to mankind no one will believe me 